T minus 15 seconds. That's now configured in flight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7 6, 5, 4, 3, 3 2, 1, and 0. And the liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and the Dragon spacecraft, packed with science and supplies for the International Space Station, humanity's home in low Earth orbit. And the Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. SpaceX ascent commentary performed by several people. The propulsion Vehicle engineer calls coverage. out propulsion events. Vehicle. Avionics engineer calls out avionics health and Dragon separation. The range coordinator calls Air Force satellite control network acquisition and loss of signal. And the ground station specialist calls out the SpaceX antenna acquisition and loss of signal. Stage Dragon engine chill. chill has begun. Around two minutes, 35 seconds into flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down. You'll hear the term MECO, which means main, which main engine cutoff. And we have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And we have ignition of the second stage Merlin engine. This is a six and a half minute burn that brings Dragon into low Earth orbit. This engine produces 210,000 pounds of thrust. Stage trajectory nominal. Yeah, and you are looking at a live shot of that second stage Merlin engine. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. If you're just joining us, we had an on-time liftoff at 4.30.38 during our instantaneous window. The Dragon is on its way to the International Space Station, where the Space Station crew awaits its arrival.
We are just past five minutes into the flight of Dragon. This is in New Hampshire. Coming up at the 9 minute, 7 second mark after launch, the second stage engine cuts off. This is called SECO. One minute later, at a mission elapsed time of 10 and 7 seconds, Dragon separates from the Falcon 9 second stage, and seconds later, Dragon will reach its, will reach its preliminary orbit. Stage 2 trajectory nominal. Stage one, AFTS has saved. And we are less than a minute away from SECO. That's the second stage engine cutting off. Stage two terminal guidance. Stage two, AFTS has saved. Yes, you go. And the second stage Merlin engine has shut down. Coming up at about 12 Good minutes into flight, insertion. the Dragon will deploy its solar arrays. Acquisition of signal, Newfoundland. And you're looking at a live shot from Mission Control in Houston.
Dragon separation confirmed. And we have confirmation of Dragon separation. You can see this shot on your screen now. Inside the trunk, you can see some unpressurized cargo that will be making its way to the space station. We are nearing the solar ray deploy on the Dragon. They are folded accordion style to the side of the Dragon spacecraft. And we are standing by for a visual confirmation of Solaroid deploy. And there you have it. Dragon is in its array deployed to state. The solar arrays of the Dragon being deployed. That's a signal at New Hampshire as expected. And as the Dragon unfurls its solar wings, the spacecraft will continue on its journey to the International Space Station. The Dragon will arrive at the space station on Wednesday, April 4th. NASA television coverage begins at 5.30 a.m. Eastern, following at 8.30 a.m. Eastern with installation, which will be ground controlled by robotic flight controllers in Mission Control at Houston. Norshige Kanai is the prime for grapple, backed up by astronaut Scott Tingle of NASA. Ricky Arnold will monitor the Dragon systems during the final approach. So with the successful launch of the Dragon and the Falcon 9, we will now go back to Tori McClendon. Tori?